So first you just need to get a scrap that's the same size as the styles and rails of the cabinet you're trying to make the knobs for. And I'm just cutting them to be the same size for each of the pieces. Next, we're gonna glue these pieces together. So here's just how you would do it. And I'm just using some CA glue. All you need to do is use some of the accelerator on one side, put the glue on the other, and then stick it together and then just apply some pressure, hold it there for a few seconds, and then it will hold. And then I'm doing the same thing for the top piece and just some glue, get some spray, don't spray it on your hand like I did, and then just a few seconds holding it down, make sure everything's lined up, and then I'm going to just go ahead and put some pins in just to make it a little stronger. You don't have to do this, that glue should hold it, but I didn't want mine to come apart after time. All right, so here you go. So all I'm doing here is I'm just drawing a square, just a perfect square on the inside. This would have been easier to do before gluing it up, but I totally skipped that step, so just do it first. This is what I'm talking about. I had to use a ruler vertically and stick it in the corner there to get it to line up and have a straight line. You can see me, I'm fiddling around. This would have been much easier to do before the glue up. All you're doing is finding the center point of that square. All right, so next I just take this bit that has a sharp point on it, and I just take a hammer and put it right in the middle of that spot that I just marked, and I just give it a few taps helps the bit go in right where you want it to when you're drilling. I just drill a hole right through it. So that just gives you a nice center hole. All right, so here's the jig in use. So what you're doing is you just sit it on top of that door and it lines up perfectly with the rails and the styles. And then you can just drill a hole. And that hole will be right in the center of both the style and the rail. Then you just start installing the knobs. Doing the same thing on this side. That way you have a perfect hole on both sides that match up perfectly. This jig can really speed things up if you have a lot of knobs to install. You can just use it on every door, drill every hole, and then install all of the knobs at one time. That's what it looks like all installed. The jig worked great. If you like what you saw, please click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.